Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I was at my local gun store yesterday, and I picked up two boxes of 158 grain, 38 special, regular target loads made by PPU, and it cost me $15.99 a box. A little inflated, but not bad, considering what we had just experienced in the last three months. And what we thought would be, you know, the next Armageddon, people buying ammo and guns and worried about crime, turned out to be... Long naps on the couch, a lot of TV and internet time, family time. It didn't quite pan out to what many people envisioned the future would look like. And now as the country is starting to open up and we're seeing people go back to work, we are also seeing the cost of ammo go down. And it's still a little bit inflated, but it's not to where it once was. But we also saw some online companies, primarily cheaper than dirt, try to rip off gun owners like none other. Many people entered the gun world. They were buying guns and ammo and all that became scarce. Who showed their true colors better than cheaper than dirt? Nobody. Now, I have no problem with any company making a profit. I want them to make a profit because that's good for the future, that's good for gun owners, and it's good for the gun industry. But when you're charging a dollar a round, for 556 when you're charging uh, outrageous prices hundreds of dollars more for a case of 45 ACP when you're charging $800 for a thousand round case of 9 mm that is gouging like none other and that's taking advantage of the very customers that help keep your business in place a successful business and pretty soon all of what has happened will be forgotten, but I think what should never be forgotten is how some of these online companies, primarily cheaper than dirt, tried to rip off gun owners like none other. It was outrageous what they did. Now, I had people contact me and say, you know, I used to work at Cheaper Than Dirt, and they're a bunch of money grubbers. Like, like you know, they are like hardcore money grubbers. They don't care about us. They're not pro two-way. They're in it for the business. I've had other people contact me and said, you know, I, I placed an order in my cart as it was being processed. They raised the price over $50 for what I ordered to $150 in, in that I did not agree to pay that price to begin with. And so, you know, here I am getting my, my credit card charged way more than what I agreed to pay and, and they had to go to battle with them it was outrageous some of the comments that i got both publicly on the video that i made and privately through email and facebook so here we have a, a company and there were others who raised their prices a little bit you know supply and demand i get that but there were some companies that were outrageously expensive and as all this becomes a memory and many people forgot about it i don't think that we should forget about who tried to stick it to gun owners cheaper than dirt was the worst they did it in 2012 and they did it you know for the last three months as many people entered the gun world many people were buying yes guns were inflated yes ammo was inflated but we're starting to see a bit of a decrease and yet the summer months are almost here they're going to be here and this is the slow time in the gun industry across the board you know where you used to have to wait in line to get range time you'll be able to pick your lane when you could not find that gun because it was sold out it'll all of a sudden become available ammo will be plentiful that is my prediction for this summer because across the board for years the gun industry just does not do well in the summer not as many people are buying, you know, and, and that makes complete sense. So as these companies, primarily cheaper than dirt, the ripoff artists that they are, throw little carrots out and, and we see little coupon codes and free shipping and this and that. And they pull that carrot away right when times get scarce and they turn into the ripoff artists that is within their true roots. Now, I checked AIM Surplus. I've checked and studied throughout this whole time target usa midway usa many others and uh, they you know i they made a little bit of a profit and i i think that's that's good you know palmetto state army was another one they did fine 
uh, Sportsman Guide was another one. You know, I checked them all, and I'm sure they did well during the last three months. But as we see ammo prices drop, we have to be very careful as to who we support and who we don't support. Honestly, I think Cheaper Than Dirt is a disgrace company. When they raise the cost while the purchase is in your cart, uh, significantly, that just speaks to the integrity of that company. I think they should be avoided. And I think that as things become normal, we should not forget what some of these online companies did and attempted to do to good law-abiding gun owners. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.